So our gallant heroes have tracked this vile necromancer down to his palace, and now they've engaged him in combat. Our heroine Jayla knows she's going next, and she'll be able to run up and hopefully get the killing blow that will finally put a stop to this menace once and for all. But on the necromancer's turn, he flees down these stairs, but Jayla isn't worried because she knows she's going next. And if we look at the game from her perspective, we can confirm that she is next in the turn order window. But we change maps to go into the basement. And our necromancer has raised two additional skeletons to join in the fray. We've added them to our initiative, but on Jayla's screen, all she sees are the two new skeletons. She no longer sees the necromancer, her turn order, or the rest of her parties. And now your players are left wondering, well, when is it my turn? Now the majority of the time, your players are going to finish out combat on a map, you're going to clear out the turn order window, close it down, and then continue on with whatever comes next in the adventure. But there are times, like in the example we just saw, where combat continues across maps. You're running up and down the stairs in a castle, you've been teleported into an alternate dimension full of even more monsters. Whatever the reason, combat is continuing. But when you change maps, your players only see initiative roles that were made on that map. So they don't see the roles they made previously before you shifted to the new map. Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today I'm going to show you a mod that will allow you to let your players see their initiative roles after you've changed maps. And now because we're using a mod, a pro account will be required in order to do this. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So the first thing we want to do is come out to this forum post, link down in the video description, where a user named Antoine has written this awesome code that will allow us to save and then restore the entries in our turn order window. So what we want to do is just grab the code that they've written, just select everything here, make sure you get it all, and then copy it. We're going to jump back into our game's settings, say new script, Paste in that code, and we'll just call it restore init, and click save script. And that will save the code, it will restart our API sandbox, and then we're ready to go. So now let's rewind time a little bit. Before we jump from the palace upper floor into the palace basement, what we want to do is run this command, save turn order. And we get a message in the chat telling us that we've stored the Necromancer's initiative, Jayla's, Mumford's, and Grolf's. So everyone that's currently in the turn order has been saved. So now let's go ahead and change maps. We'll drop down into the basement again. And what I'm going to do is actually clear out the turn order window. And then I'm going to highlight the tokens whose initiatives I want to restore. And we're going to run this command, load turn order. And when we do that, it reloads all of the entries into the turn order window. And if we switch over to Jayla, she sees all the entries in the turn order window as well. And now I can roll initiative for those new skeletons and then just resort the turn order window and we're good to go. Now you may be wondering why I cleared out the turn order window before I ran the load command. And the answer is if you don't do that, you as the GM will see duplicate entries in the turn order window and that just gets a little bit confusing. So even though your players will only see one entry per creature, you would see two. So just make sure that you clear out the turn order window before you run the load command and you'll be all set. So there you have it. That's how you can save and reload entries in the turn order window so that initiative gets preserved when you move across maps. I just want to say thank you again to Antoine for writing this mod, and thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.